what are the factors which affect uh, 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 slicking processes? Maybe Karsten, you can kick off with that. Yeah, thank you, Prince. Can maybe, yeah. Yeah, so we'll, what we really, there's a few factors then, and, and Simon will elaborate on, on one or two of them as well. I think for for the slaking process, which is ex effectively uh, the process of converting calcium oxide to the slurry itself is an exothermic process, uh, and adding water to it basically gets the chemical reaction going. So one of the factors is obviously the water quality uh, on any lime slaking plant. Uh, and there's certain chemicals that in the water that either reduce the reaction or increase the reaction. And, and one of them is, for instance, sulfates. So if you have a, a water that has a lot of sulfates in it, uh, processed water, you actually could reduce the actual reactivity of that, of that reaction in the end. Um, and, and what basically happens, the sulfates prevent the, the lime from actually uh, um, slaking. Uh, and ultimately, if you use that type of water, um, you end up actually using more lime in the end because some of that lime becomes unavailable to the process. So that's one of the big factors there. Uh, and generally, when we do a plant design, for instance, one of the things we would do beforehand is to actually check the water quality to see what the uh, constituents of that water are. Uh, and we've had cases where it's unsuitable for slaking and you then have to go to uh, a, a municipal water or potable water to do the slaking process. And ultimately, the customer really needs to have a look at, does he either want to use cheaper process water, which has potentially has sulfates in it, uh, and use more lime? So the cost would basically be shifted to the lime side. Or does he want to treat the water, get rid of the sulfates, add the cost factor to the actual processing of the water, and then use less lime on the other side? And it, it's really a balancing act in the end to see you know, what's, what's the best way to go if you don't have a choice uh, of having both available in terms of the water quality. Um, I think one of the other ones is obviously temperature. So the lime slaking process being exothermic, um, if uh, it, we generally sort of slake at 76 degrees, which is a, a reasonable uh, temperature for a 20% uh, slurry concentration. Um, if you, for instance, slake at lower temperatures, which would mean typically if you if you dilute it. So if you're only slaking at a 10% concentration, for instance, your exothermic reaction would not give you enough uh, energy to actually get the temperature of the water up to the 76 degrees. What we do find is that potentially the, um, the actual powder doesn't wet properly in the colder conditions, uh, and you don't have that reaction happening. And we have seen in some of the flat bottom slakers where that powder actually gets encapsulated with a with a limestone coating on the outside, and you you create little balls that start rolling around in the bottom of the slaker at lower temperatures. Um, the other side is obviously if you if you add too much lime to the process and you actually get the temperatures up. Um, here in Johannesburg, for instance, water starts boiling between 97 and, and 98 degrees Celsius. So you don't want to really push that process up to a point where you actually start boiling that, that liquid, that slurry in the actual slaker. So those are the two sort of considerations there. 